Eagle. So they're they're putting basically mag mid, right? Butterfly is mid. Mm. Bottom lane. Can they kill him? There's a blood grenade on him. It should be and a oh, bug. They actually stop. They actually stop. <laughs> if they've done their job, you know, like you throw a blood old grenade. Sports fans like uh, some mm -hmm. baseball fan, football, mm -hmm. and they're telling you, yeah, this Messi is good, but if you remember Pele, Pele was <laughs> yeah. God. I'm like that, dude. I just realized oh, look I'm literally mid. that guy. Oh, nothing to say. Getting pushed under the tower with the skewer for a nice kill for Butterfly Effect. He's going to be happy to pick that one up. But I, I absolutely agree with you. And talking about, like... Uh, I, th yeah. I think one of, the, one of the best parts was last year's DPC, watching Southeast Asia and Cap... Uh, casting Cox. I mean, what's what's funny about that? It's just a know. normal name. It's just for a normal team. great nickname. Meanwhile, TZ will lose his life in the bottom lane, and they might lose another as Faces Void is slowly getting trapped around a hostile opponent. So Mercy does come in with a disruption, looking for a kill on the Wraith King, but he does not have the damage, and he's just TP to his own death. JT. We'll take a double for this offlane Wraith King, and uh, nothing to say. And nothing to say. He's he's going back and forth, back and forth. He doesn't know where to go, and the he's still going back and forth. Now he's finally charging in, and onto TZ they go. They've dropped the faces for it low enough, and here comes the big Ban Mu, and he charges straight into the Muerta. The Muerta dropping the calling as well. So that mm. it, it's a it's a four versus one scenario, and yeah, they, they still can can't still go. go, but they're gonna go again. And attempt number four pays off, and that's one kill. Can they get the second as the Muerta right under the T1 tower? You got 64 right click damage and a tower worth of 90, forcing them away. Skellingtons have been spawned as well, and nothing to say. Finally closes in for the charge. Boboka gets the kill, and this situation loses. I mean, leads into a lost tower as well. So missing CS you know. on mid, and they're probably just gonna back out. But uh, if you don't TP, your team is dead. And they are setting up in mid. Well, nothing to say. Was charging it at the same time. They're going to use the RP onto Baboka. And they have got the damage for it as he pops a DD rune for an extra big punch. That mind. That's a level 5 Muerta. So no ult to save yourself. Well, they're setting up in mid, but this could all just be a bait because nothing to say. He's ready for action. And there we go. The Dawnbreaker is going to be joining in on the action as well. Nothing to say. He's going to get tag team by five heroes. God damn. <laughs> Less than Ponlo. Nothing to say, charging into the top lane. They've got the Dawnbreaker on their sights. Does get a bit of distance with the Celestial Hammer, but you're not gonna live out of all this damage that they have they to have apply. Chrono, though, However, right? they have got the Chrono Man ready, and there we go. Nothing to say, down again, and onto the Morphling they go this time. They're keeping the Magnus away for now, but he does have that RP available, and he is not afraid to use it. And that Morphling is out as well, and Butterfly Effect, holy. Nova wasn't, wasn't there. Um, was JT? JT wasn't there as well. Well, probably that's the energy that they have, you know. Maybe one or two players are exhausted, like nothing to say, who has uh, been making the majority of the moves, but also the majority of the dying in the last few minutes. Boboka also dropping fairly low here. Eagle really putting up a hell of a fight, capable of being uh, very defensive under their tier 2 tower. IG will pay for that dive. That does do a lot of damage to the tier 2 tower, but JT still being chased. And he is holding on to a value point for his ult. He will have to pop it here, but he's not going to get any backup, so... I guess he's just going to admit to his fate and just keep buying time for the rest of the team. As he will finally fall. Yeah, I wonder why he takes the ulti there, because he's going to die twice no matter what. Yeah, I mean, 10 extra seconds of space at least, minimum. Okay, so I actually want to ask you a question, since we're Dota boomers here. Uh, when you yeah. were still a player, who was an aspiring player who you thought would be, this guy could be really good, but he never popped off? Well, nothing to say. <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you two that I knew are going to pop off. One guy was just destroying us, no matter how we draft, no matter what he picks. A uh, second one was 33. It's like, okay. even when I... I think I had some stack with him. We played together in a team, and... Uh, he would play his position, and while he's playing, he would tell me... Three uh, Aegis, uh, taken away by Eagle. They and can there goes Stormbreaker, actually. They do get the charge to connect onto him as they spotted him in the middle. And that BKB won't do anything. And the Chrono Monet. will be used at the same time. Monet, Monet, gonna go down! They lost the Morphling! E Meanwhile, uh, 
Uh, not often do you get to see this. 26 minutes in. Shadow Demon. Pause 5. Sorry, this is actually technically pause 4 with the Muerta in the safe lane. They just lost the face this void out of nowhere. So I guess both carry players are uh, having a bit of blunders. Nothing to say. Charging in onto the SD. Baboka. Only able to get a bit of extra poke with that Orchid uh, silence. Yeah, before you, before you, before you... Before you finish what you wanted to say. Pops the Manta as well, gets a jump away. TZ, throwing in the Roar of Atos, gonna get hit by the Wraith King stun. He also slaps for a lot of damage, pops the Fear, pierce the Veil instantly. And butter, uh, Butterfly Effect, he does get a really long range harpoon, but Baboka able to use the ulti to get back away. Meanwhile, they've got the Wraith King trying to get in, nothing to say, going in for the charge, hitting onto the Faceless Void. Mercy down to half HP, TZ almost dead, JT, he will lose his first life, but he's going to be coming back, and there's X Nova. he talked about the real carry of the game. Might be able to do enough work, they've got a nice charge to kill off two, there's a Chrono, could be landing on top of JT, JT's going to be losing RP. his life, and a lot of connections, but look at that! The RP coming into action as well, and Monet trying to make a jump to chase this face as Void. But Butterfly Effect relentless with the chase. X Nova getting controlled by the Dawnbreaker, and Monet versus the face as Void on the high ground. Who can win this one? The fear coming out from the dead shot, and Butterfly Effect for the double kill. But Boca unable to do much here in this high ground position, and Butterfly Effect almost finishing him off by himself with the help of that sentry. Much and much about the them, you said they were Division Two players. They're giving a hell of a show here in game number one, and I'm loving it. Yeah, there's a charge down bottom, Dawnbreaker. They were able to do this the last time they caught the Dawnbreaker, but uh, not now. However, SD buying time for everybody to regroup with the teleport. Wraith King's life number one forfeit. He does have the Aghanim, so he'd love to blink out. And he's able to do so. JT gets up, a butterfly effect is on his heels. And back you go. Harpoon to Skewer. And everybody from the side of IG is like, yeah, we're not going to stay around. Stop their last fight completely, so I can understand some hatred. That ulti, the Solar Guardian just saved them. Oh, they're fighting oh. into the mid lane again. Dawnbreaker unable to get out this time, but Butterfly Effect has the RP ready. No blink, though, and just going to reveal himself to X Nova. And with that Silver Edge, X Nova is not going to be the scary carry inch. No untouchable. And butterfly effect yeah. is around. Yeah, but look at this. Like, they, they literally cannot push. Bottom lane maybe is somewhere that they should have attempted to go. Like, you, you're happy. Monet, he's caught, but they have RP. They don't have the damage for him, though. Yep, skewering oh, in. Baiting with the RP there a little bit onto Monet. Monet going to be pushing him deeper into the jungle. And now you've got your opportunity on a Magnus form. So he ain't getting any extra HP. And Monet down. Nothing to say. He tried to come into the rescue. Save your buddy syndrome strikes. There's nothing to say. Going to get pummeled up stuns. He's going to get the charge off just in time though. That's one of the pesky parts about this hero. It's how the hell are you going to hold a bulldoze? Uh, we'll we'll get to that break. in a second. If, the, if there's a fight breaking loose, they're all clumped up for a moment there for the faces for to jump in. Lincoln's going to be popped. They've got the Road of Atos holding JT on the spot. Ukiyo going to get charged again by the Spirit Breaker, but they're not getting to him. Mercy, though, that's a good target if they can get there. Don't Breaker coming with the heal, though. Nothing to say, just melting away. And that's your first death. He does come in with a buyback. Ex Nova. Now he is being targeted here. The entire lineup here of Eagles with the big damage dealers. Able to get him out of the way. JT looks to be going down next. And he has the reincarnation. But he needs some backup. There's the Chrono. They've oh, the got Chrono. Monet inside it as well. Ukiyo. Perfect timing for it as well. Into the RP. And that is just a massacre. They're trying to retaliate with their ghosts, but how much damage can they do? Magnus might die. Yes, he does. The Orchid damage is going to be enough to take down the big bad mag. But you're paying a heavy price for this one as they've cleaned out four plus the buyback out oh, of the... There's uh, no cliff in the Radiant base. They're trying to hold back at the same time inside IGs as they got the Chrono landing on top of the Spirit Breaker and inside the Radiant base. They finished off the first Tier, tier 4 tower. There's almost both towers down inside of IGs base, but uh, it looks like they're not going to be make, able to make it in time. Monet is in big trouble and they've already lost the Ancient on the side on the other side of the map and it's just going to be a couple extra hits. They've got backdoor protection up, but it's not looking like it's going it to be better, enough. Yeah. As that is going to be the end, Eagles are going to be taking a victory. Uh, you know, bit of, a little bit of extra <laughs> excitement. You knew what you were signing yourself up for there, Lizard, at the end. This game for IG once again to play.
um, you're going to have this Necro plus Visage. That is included at the Grand Finals, but uh, I'm sure we're going to see a bloodbath for this one as JT, the offlane Magnus, to drop first, but they do get something. No, they don't get anything in return. It's just two kills for Eagles. They also got the Willow on top and the Bounty Runes. Looks like they're going to be split two for two or three for one. Pool, pretty much. So you need that raindrop ASAP. I wonder... Wonder what my boy, uh... Never know. mind, he's gonna die instead. <laughs> well, he's very low in armor with this hero, so uh, TB does enjoy his right clicks, and uh, Ex Nova is gonna be the one to secure mm. this kill. Mercy does reply a couple hits on the for that one. Um, Visage, alongside with Sanking and Rubik, have always been the big lane counters for TB, because he doesn't have the HP pool to stand against magical attacks. Talking about magical attacks, that's a Spectre dead. So yeah. I think they might just go straight to the triangle where Mr. Shang Yu. Yeah, they know where he is. And they have blink. He should be caught here. And that's going to be another kill going their way. They've got Tusk TPing in, but it's going to be too late. And no, not even an RP used, so... I would now say that blink buying the blink, so... Yeah. You make sure that he gets most of it in these engagements. They want to go on TB, but JT still has RP. Oh. And they're ready for this one as well. Terrorize is being loaded up and not sent in yet. Sunder's available too. Soulbind connected on two as well. Shang Yu on the Visage will get a couple big pokes in, but there's the Sunder. And Spectre, oh, oh, oh to the RP. He was waiting for that one, but he couldn't get the kill on time. Never mind, they still get a two for one. Nothing to say. He will clean out two kills for himself and force the rest of Eagles away. And that is just a JT Magnus yeah, trade at all. being bad and selecting him during the fight, mashing mm. buttons. Well, Fuck. mashing buttons, nothing to say. Able to get the uh, oh, face God. shift off just perfectly, but his spells are on cooldown, and it's just not going to be enough versus four. So a very mm. big pickoff again for Butterfly Effect. Stack number three. Easy, we... but it becomes easier to start Oh, Shang Yu. Going to get targeted by JT with the instant blink, stun with the Inkswell. Oh, he's and got shards, he's got oh, shards. Oh, he got extras! He got extras on top of it as well! Oh, no! Oh, one extra bird, and of course, almost the Tusk dying too. That would have been that would have been fantastic, you know? Tusk was blinking in to try to snowball save, and... I don't know what the idea was with that, but that TB illusion just ruined everything. Well, they might still get their chance because... Spectre's sticking around, JT's gonna miss his spells, Visage already popping that Gargoyle stun. At the same Behind time, him. Shadow Step on X Nova. They got the RP onto the back line as well. They're going to be dropping low with the Tusk, still surviving somehow. But the fear on multiple heroes and Butterfly Effect also forced away as they finished off the Spectre. They finished off the Tusk. And now, nothing to say, just bullying them at the front there with that blink. So they won't be able to retaliate at all. The, um, uh, they see the him. man of the. Yeah. Did they catch him on time? Yes, they do. They got the ward placed in front of the tower. And there goes Ukiyo. He's got Aegis. And that's the Aegis, yeah. They used RP for it, so maybe there's a chance for Eagles to reply and respond, but they're gonna go back on the Spectre again. The Fear on the other side, they're so close to finishing him off. A couple more hits, Monet. He's got this one, but they're sniping the back line. They've lost JT, and Shang Yi is trying to do the work that he's supposed to do on this Visage. He finishes off one Reaper Siphon Monet, and they're losing heroes, nothing to say. And Ex Nova, or sorry, Baboka, he's the one to TP away. And they've left nothing to say all by himself. A bit of a juke there with the orb, <laughs> and I think he's going to be fine leaving this place with his blink. I, yeah. I love how every back to even scales way, again. Hmm? Just one thing. Health regeneration. I just need to correct that. Not, not actual fine. health. Necro, and they're jumping. And they're him. doing exactly that. They're just going to jump him right away. and <laughs> they. Never <I> think, mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... We lost. <laughs> I don't even know how to put this one. But yeah, yeah. Right. plus five I mean, enigmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing to say. That's There's the a hex. Word. Ooh, there we go. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. All right. It does. Again, yeah, retaliation does. on the puck. It does change the game completely, but. Uh, Dota talent? No. 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 So no, it's just, just, so it's just you and Lacoste. Yeah. JT, well, he's in. Well, he's got Mercy. Nice tools. And Necro just got Axe, but. He's not going to be there in time to help out the Tusk, but he's look in. at that damage. He's already building up a lot. Are they going to get him out of the way, though? They finished off the Spectre, and they're close to getting the Necrophos, and yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> uh, I was getting hyped for a second. He did do a lot of damage by just existing, but uh, they're just dying one by one. 
that was probably the the worst way they could have taken that fight. They go in with a Spectre and they follow up by by Necro and they're all dead and they're just gonna go thrown now. Yeah, all right. I mean, this is this is call it more or less. We're we're coming up to that point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they don't care about racks. They're just gonna go for the tier four towers at this point. They don't have much to defend with. So GG, we are going to game number three as IG are gonna tie this one up. A bit anticlimactic to, to end things off. I was we were kind of hyping up this Necrofoss. I was gonna be building up, getting stronger, but uh, this is what we got. This is this yeah. is what we got. We got IG, IG route and play Morphling versus the Faces Void because then you have a way to survive the Chrono it's or the He him. apparently couldn't stand up after. He 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 messed but. up his back, right? <laughs> No, he didn't mess with his, it was just... Oh, oh butterfly effect. effect. Oh, he might be the one to drop first, but Boca, though, ends up dying. Damn, that was so close to catching the TA, but nothing to say, had nothing to say about that. Like the Centaur getting closer and closer to the Vanguard. Spirit Breaker as well. Very Mid difficult lane. to kill. They're sending off for the Kunkka this time. Furion is TPing in. They're lacking a bit of extra damage onto the Kunkka. He's going to survive, but the Shadow Demon does get the poison stacks off and he survives with 20 HP and butterfly effect ends up going down and so seems like mercy is going to be another pick off the supports are cleaning him out an X Nova mm. double kill for the Phoenix he's and the is in now mid on top lane he secured the lane quite well for the faces with too it's not amazing but he did what he could yeah, hey, this is and now Wraith King's in trouble. He's also going to be dropping at the bottom lane. Ukiyo just got the stun on one, but still going to get hit by that big mace from the sp uh, team Spirit Breaker. Oh, that is, that's you. Oh, that's only me. Okay, is it thundering there? No, oh, it's just Chinese servers. It's done now, though. It's good. All right, that's all good. Yo. Meanwhile, Wraith King about to die again. He just teleported into his death and TZ down too. What is going on? Yeah. Seems X like Nova game one might have, might have been a fluke in the end because so this level is level one X mark. The the range uh, is a bit difficult to connect well, with. He's still gonna get to use it. Boats coming in and the X mark also, and the blood grenade on top of some fire. That sunray is really causing Damn, issues. And a supernova. Though. Damn, this has gone everything. And now Monet with the chrono. They got the stun from the supernova. And they are just losing heroes left, right, and center. Mercy. He's begging for mercy. He's not getting any. X Nova. Phoenix with a 5 0 2 scoreline early game. Can you believe it? X Nova. What a champ. Play. Just. Yeah, I just really wasn't. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, continue, please. No, it was just they, they just gave that false sense of security for Eagle that they could actually win this series because right now it's just IG dominance. Non TZ is dropping low, and that X mark should finish things off. There's nothing to say. A bubble save from Mercy, but NTS, he's still staying around. Yeah, he's toying with him with that haste rune, and he's going to let JT finish the job for him. Meanwhile, TA moving in. There's a boat coming in, and they've got the TA set up for a trap. Does get stunned up, Great and NTS still running. Yukio coming up with a stun for the, st uh, for the Spirit Breaker. And JT, he needs five more seconds, three more seconds to be able to charge away, and one more, and he's going to be out. Bye -bye. But the moment the Centaur wants to fight uh, with that Blink Dagger, which is also going to be fairly charge. soon already. Maybe you can then use it, but uh, the Dawnbreaker. TZ is going to get some backup here, so Baboka is the target for the time being. JT is sticking around, but Mercy also teleports in, and here comes NTS. Boboka and Ukiyo fighting inside the trees. What a duel for their lives, and nothing to say once a piece of that action, too. TZ also already down. Skeleton spawns as well. Monet has Chrono, and JT charging into the back line. Onto Mercy, and there's the Chrono. Onto Butterfly Effect, beautifully with the boat from the Kunkka, and he's just gone. Oh, poor TA. Doesn't get to play this game at all. Ukiyo now going to be chased. They do have that tanky centaur, but they're ignoring the centaur completely, and they're killing everybody else. TZ even bought That's back for this back. one. Yeah. And, okay, you get something out of it. You got nothing to say, but the centaur needs a whole lot more. He's running out of HP. He can't double edge forever. He is tying, buying some time with these jukes, but how many TPs do they have left? They've got one hero showing up, but it's not going to be enough for them. And TZ still left all by himself, surrounded by four hostiles, and he is also down. That's kill number 17 in 13 minutes for Invictus Gaming. Said and done. 
Well, they're going to try and make something happen with this double blink here. Mercy will find nothing to say. With the help of uh, Butterfly Effect and Shang Yu. Well, that's a lot of help there for Mercy. Gets pushed into the Sprout, so B Baboka gets the kill. Nice little 32 Ooh, well, take damage from Sprout him. is enough to kill. Well, they've got themselves the Centaur. Stampede away and brought back in. Rough, that's rough a, game. That's a level 11 Phoenix Max. Yeah, max that's, a, that's a wicked sick Phoenix at 15 minutes, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. This has Stop to be me. one of the first times I've honestly seen a Phoenix have this high of a streak. And Can we get the godlike for him? Get, please give him the kill. Like, okay, this is reincarnation, but at least the second kill. I want a godlike Phoenix now. If I can have something, please let me take that as at least. Monster kill. Yeah, there you go. He's a monster. Monster, monster kill streak. There we go. He's at eight. One more. TZ getting burnt up. Mercy for the save. X Nova. No, no spells remaining right now. Everything is on cooldown. Literally everything. He's gonna wait for a little bit longer. And they're going to be able to disengage behind their tower. The Kanka boat with the Chronosphere. It's just very difficult to take down. All right, we have two minutes. And they're going to run in to the Centaur. Shang Yu. Down to half HP with Baboka. And there we go. Godlike X Nova. 18 minutes. And he's going to get the Beyond Godlike as well. Unless JT gets the kill. Disruption. He's inside the bubble. And JT will take this one. Okay, you can have that one. I think we already achieved X Nova's goal. Come on, you need beyond. You need beyond. At this well, point, you need beyond. Maybe now, TZ. No, JT takes that one too. If we don't get beyond Godlike on X Nova, I'll feel cheated. Say, 3v3 situation building up here. Butterfly effect is spotted. Do you see the Centaur? Torrent's gonna miss. Oh, Monet is also here. So it's gonna be four heroes maximum. A Spirit Breaker still gone. They're gonna pull in Mercy. Don't break her ulti. Turn around. They've got Monet with the Chrono. And there's your Beyond, beyond Godlike Spree beyond under 20 minutes. So you've got that one achieved. Then we can get back to the game. But, uh, yeah, we've got it. I mean, overall, it's doable. It's possible. I just feel yep. that you need something more active on other sides. TA is going in. Butterfly Effect. They're coming through the portal. They're all stacked up as well. But where's your AoE? Do you have enough damage for this one? Nothing to say. You're going to get jumped up by Okio. TZ going to get hit Great by tech. the Nova. And Okio might lose his first life. They've already traded one for one. But nothing to say. The big kill so far. Butterfly effect. Blink is ready. Refraction. No, he does not have it. 10 second cooldown. Slow on to three. Skeletons giving some vision. But they're going to reset. That's right. Like it, It's pretty huge on, on Wraith King. And there's also Raid King that's being charged. Can they kill him? Well, he's already dead for one time, so uh, they know, knew he was still on a cooldown. And Baboka gets out. JT, he's awesome. doing all the hard lifting here. Charging from one to the other. Dawnbreaker. Trying to make a run for it, but eventually going to get found by Monet. And nothing to say with the X-Mark Torrent combo. Another charge through, gonna stun both the Raid King. Butterfly Effect does get the jump on the back line onto Bavoka, but he's also getting the, all the attention. He's got a DD rune, which he's not gonna get to use at all. So there's your TA gone. And now you're really at the territory of uh, have we had enough? Chrono. Have we had enough of this game? Monet will get to a killing spree. He's got three kills on this uh, Faces Void. That's not nearly <laughs> enough compared to anybody else. Yeah. He has 12, 12 assists, by the way. Yeah, and we're done with this game. IG, take it 2-1. He's, he's in that situation in which, guys, can I please get a kill? <laughs> can I have some please? fun as well in this game? Uh, no. Please let me get a kill. But, uh, yeah, X Nova.